<laughs> this is all true. For over 20 years, I've worked as an emergency dispatcher, a 911 emergency dispatcher. I've seen it all. Bad news awaits me every day at work. So, you know, I, I don't get to hear the good shit. People don't call me to say, you know, my, my kids are doing great. You know, my daughters are still virgins. And, you know, they, they don't tell me any of that shit. Right? I get to hear all the bad shit. I know very well about the not so beautiful spots. We all have them. I can tell you where and who to avoid after midnight. The predictability of certain days and the monotony of others. An average 911 day is pretty predictable, okay? In the mornings, people are waking to discover that the cars are missing, or broken into, or, you know, maybe your, your kid is, you know, run out and run away or whatever, okay? Uh, then, the rush hour. DMV is notorious for having horrendous, you know, rush hour cells. There's lots of car accidents, whatever. Uh, then, during the average work day, there's lots of disputes. Business owners and their customers, employees with each other, ex-employees, right? And then you have the rush hour home. Then everybody gets home and then the family start duking it out. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, the runaways come back and get in trouble. Uh, we have husbands and wives and boyfriends and ex-boyfriends and girlfriends and all that. So I get all that stuff. Uh, and then when darkness falls, that's when it gets a little more dangerous, right? I get to hear about, you know, the shootings and the assaults and drunk and disorderly, stuff like that. Well, I don't know what it is, but since we're mostly water, maybe on certain days the moon will lift us up a bit and tug us by our heartstrings, pulls us, pulls us up out of ourselves and turn us into erratic little puppets. So when the moon is full, you never know what you're going to get. Boop, boop, boop. 911, where is your location? I'm at 535 Glory Avenue, C. Pleasant. Uh, he, he, he not breathing. Okay. What is your emergency, sir? He, 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 he not breathing. We, we was eating now and later, <laughs> and, and he put a whole handful in his mouth. And now now he, he, he's turning purple. Can, can, can you? Uh, okay, well, we'll, we'll, and that is on its way. Okay. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I'm over here at the pizzeria. I need you to get this asshole out of here right now. <laughs> I need you to get this asshole out of here. He's been in here every day for the past week, and he keeps harassing my customers. He's like taking food off of their plates. All right, I know. I need to get this guy out of here right now. Sir, I'm not sure that qualifies as an emergency. Well, you know what? <laughs> when I kick his ass, I'm going to be This kid, oh, hey, he's standing on top of my tables now. Sir, he's pulling his, he's sir, showing his ass. He's warning me. How Can you please get somebody out? I'm about to kick his ass uh, right uh, now. Uh, all right, we'll be sending some boop, boop, boop. 911, where are you located? Uh, I'm over here. Richie Road and shh, shh, be quiet, girl. All right, listen. Um, okay. All right. See now, we was just up at Stadium getting it in, hey. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then and then and then and then we come out and our car is gone. We can't get out. We can't get out of here. And then out of where, sir? Uh, well, right now we're at the tow lot. See, we, the, the, they told us that the car got towed, so we came up here. And now and now this guy behind the booth, like he's real creepy, right? And he told us that if we show him something then maybe he can give us a car back, right? So I talked to Kiki, I talked to Boo Girl, and everybody, and we, said, we, we made it here. We said we was going to flash a little, show a little something, and then maybe we can get our car back. Well, Sorry, what is your emergency? I'm <laughs> telling you, we showed him our goodies, and he didn't say, nah, it's all right. He going to have to give us our, he reneged on the deal. He got to give us our car back right now.
I'm out here on the corner of New York Avenue, and I think this is Florida, I think. This guy, right? Oh my God, this rap guy in the Escalade just ran into the back of me. I need you to get out here right now. I think he was like Buster Rhymes or somebody. Are you, are you, are you, I'm sorry, sir, are you injured? No, I'm fine. My car's fucked up. I need to get somebody out here right now. All right? Because this guy and his girlfriend, I don't know, she might have been giving him a head in the car or something. I don't know. Please, please, I need to get somebody out here right now. Now, I can put on that Schwarzenegger voice, you know, the important one that says, listen to me, I can help you, do what you do what I say if you want to live, but that's not true. Usually, the call is already out of my hands. Chance brought us together, and I'm not God. Unless I read the news sometimes, I'll never know what happened to you afterwards, and did I really matter at all? You'll be wherever you end up, I'll be going home soon. And we'll be trying to forget each other, but before I can think about it for too long, another call will come in. 911, where are you located? 